And if you want to add smell to your flowers, you can add some perfume. <coughs> Ow, my eye. When I saw her walking down the street, she looked so fine, I just had to speak. I asked her name, but she turned away as she walked. I bet I could say what. They can be old or new. The next thing you'll need are some green washi tapes. I have different designs so my flowers are different. Then you're going to need these specific pins that have a sphere at the top and then their pin. I would recommend different colors for your flowers. You'll need tissue paper to make the petals of your flowers. Then you're going to need a sharpener and a scissors. And if you want to add some smell to your, per um, to your flowers after, you can use some perfume. The first thing you're going to need to do is take your tissue paper and just cut out random blobs. They don't have to be at all perfect, they're meant to look messy. which one's the biggest and the second biggest and the smallest and the second smallest so put them in the order of their bigness if that makes sense so I didn't do any special order like with the colors I just did random sizes so for me the colors might vary Then you're going to gather all your petals into a pile so the smallest is at the top and the biggest is at the bottom. Take your pencil and your pin. Then take your pin and poke it through the middle so it goes through all of the petals, like so. And then I already made a hole in the pencil because that way it's easier. So if you want to do that too, you can. Then take your the pin and poke it through that hole. So, and push it in. You shouldn't see the metal part anymore. Then, you fought, then your pen will look like this. You can leave it like this, but I think to add more texture and reality to a flower, you should keep watching. So first crunch up the flower, and kind of like play with it, just crumple it around, but not too wild, otherwise it will break off. Just crunch it up randomly, like so. I'm going to take the stripey one and do the exact same thing.
So this is how mine looks. I put a lot of layers, so it's a little different, and I like the way it looks. Now you're going to take your sharpener, and even if it's already sharpened, sh bleh, sharpen your pencil. Just to take off the excess. So once your flower is finished, it should look something like this. I think it's really cute with the multicolored petals, and you can add some awesome green washi tapes at the bottom. And then to make it look even more realistic and super cute, you can get one of these. Just uh, bleh. I keep on dropping my pencil. Oh, my sister's pencil. You can just get inexpensive pots or reuse some you already have at home and stick all your pencils in. And then just take some perfume and don't spray it in your face like I did before, which was really ridiculous. And just spray it. Spray it all over your flowers. So they share the smell. So there you have your first super cute pencil DIY. So windy! So since the weather cleared out, I thought I would do the second DIY outside. The second DIY are some cute DIY magnets. I've seen a lot of DIY school supplies and I haven't seen any really um, showing you how to make customized magnets, which I think is a shame because personally I use magnets a lot in school for my locker and stuff. So I thought I wouldn't do it myself if no one else is going to do it um, to see the people who do also want to learn how to make their own magnets, if that makes sense. Yeah. So the materials you'll need are scissors magnet paper or old magnets or magnet rolls like I have, some cute little gadgets that you want to turn into magnets. Then I'm going to be using small plastic clothespins. You can use big ones, but I think small ones are more cute and colorful. Let's get making. So I'm going to start off with the clothespins. I already made a few here, as you can tell. Blah. So they look like this, and what you do is then you stick that part onto a magnetic surface, and these are super easy to make. All I do is take a random one, I'm going to take this red one, and then I just cut with the paper on it, with my scissors, a little strip that's not wider than the clothespin, and I cut two so it's more magnetic, like so. And then I take off the little paper, which will leave a sticky side, like so, and then I just stick it on either side, doesn't really matter, on either side of the clothespin, or peg, or whatever, and I stick both of them on the same side, and then there you go. It started raining again, and since I kind of messed up on my gadget tutorial because I accidentally deleted it, I thought I would just explain it quickly because it's super simple. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is take a bigger chunk of the magnet paper and then just stick it on the back of your gadget. As you can tell, it's all just there. I'm just putting bigger chunks on these because they're bigger and they're heavier than the little clothes pegs. And my awesome gardening tool, which I never understand why I used it. But yeah, that's basically it. I mean, as you can tell, it's like super easy to make. So now let's get on with my last, with, bleh, with my third and final DIY. Some colorful washi tapes of your choice, 
some name sticker tags of your choice, and some cool origami or texture papers. You're going to need scissors, and a random notebook that you want to decorate. Let's get going! We're making! Let's get started. So first you're just going to want to choose some cool origami or texture papers. I'm going to start off with this one. And you're going to just cut some double-sided tape. And also cut your paper on however you want. Doesn't matter really. And then stick your double-sided on the back. And peel it off. Or if you have a different type, you don't have to peel it off. And then just like stick it. And then you just keep doing that until it's all covered. So you just like collage it however you want. So, where's my headband? Oh, there's my headband. So this is the finished notebook. I think it looks really awesome. Um, my mom helped me to make this cool name tag, um, which was just a post-it with a speech bubble that we just cut out. And then we had like this backing paper, and then we um, put contact paper on it instead of taping it all, which takes a lot longer. You just take contact paper, which is also more protective and looks nicer. And we just stuck that. You can get contact paper at a craft store or wherever you want. So now it's all protected, and I can use it for school. Woo! Whoops. So yeah, that's the notebook DIY. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can tell, oh, I look ahead there. As you can tell, as you can tell, these are some really cute and easy DIYs to do, and I'm absolutely in love with this notebook. I like carry it around with me everywhere I go because I love it so much. It's kind of awkward, but yeah. Okay, put that down. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and it took me quite a while to edit this, but I think it is also a good video, and um, I will be making a lot more back to school videos. Also, because at my school, um. I, you get like all your binders and stuff from the school, so I can't really be showing you all the decorating and stuff you can do with them. So I'm going to be doing more of my back to school series, kind of going into school already. So I hope that's fine with you guys. So please like this video and comment down below for video ideas and feedback on my videos and tutorials because that really helps me. And also don't forget to subscribe. That is very important. And also please enter my 100 subscribers contest, 100 subscribers contest, which is the video right before this that you will see on my end card. So yeah, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Bye! Mwah. And also this series is called So Back to Schoolicious because my name is So Alicious, so like back to school. So, yeah. so if you do recreate any of these, make sure to post a picture of it with the hashtag So Back to Schoolicious. And then that way I can see it. And that would really be awesome if you guys could do that, you know, because like then I can see what you Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the series. And yeah. Bye! To win my video! So without further ado, I'm going to explain how the contest works. The task. For this contest, there are five important steps that you need to follow. The first thing